Okay, hello everybody, you're watching Audio Map. I have here on the right an M1 MacBook Air with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And on the left I have a 2017 15 inch MacBook Pro with a quad core i7 and 16 gigabytes of RAM also. So today I just wanted to do a quick bounce test doing two identical projects to see what kind of performance, if any, improvement we get in bounce time on the M1 MacBooks. So I'm going to run this test just right here in front of you. I haven't run this test. I don't know what the result will be. And then I'm going to run it again on the M1 MacBook Air in Rosetta mode. So right now I'm going to be running it in native. And then we'll jump to the charts and we'll kind of compare the overall results. But you guys can see me get started right here. So I'm going to go set up a bounce, make sure I have an identical uh, settings here. Let's see. So I'm going to hit bounce and then we're going to hit the watch. So they're both going pretty quickly. I think the M1 MacBook's going a little bit faster. Yeah, it's definitely going a bit faster. So that was at 36 seconds on the M1 MacBook Air and 46 seconds on the Pro. Okay, so I'm going to run this in Rosetta on the MacBook and then I'll meet you guys on the screen recording. So see you in a moment. Okay, so here we are in the test results. So if we see here, we have the 46 seconds on the MacBook Pro, 36 seconds when we're running Logic natively on the MacBook Air and 41 seconds when we're running the M1 MacBook Air via Rosetta. So kind of what we're expecting, if you missed my other video, then these are the results we got running the new Logic Pro benchmark. So 44 tracks for the MacBook Pro, 90 tracks running Logic natively on the M1 MacBook Air, and 60 tracks running Logic via Rosetta. So it's kind of uh, the same pattern, although clearly not as big a difference in the overall results. Now, are these significant results? If you're bouncing a lot or if you're bouncing really long songs or songs all the time, I'd say it's a fairly uh, significant results. With music though, we're spending so much time working with the audio and kind of putting pressure on our ears that it's good to take breaks. So I don't know that this is uh, this by itself would be any reason to upgrade. Um, but taking in concert with these other results, especially once we get all of our plugins uh, updated for native uh, logic use, I think there's pretty significant gains to be had on these computers. The reason I chose the Billie Eilish uh, Ocean Eyes song is just because it's a full-on session using completely Logic stock plugins and instruments. So it'd be able to run both native Rosetta and on the MacBook Pro. And it's available on uh, every current version of Logic, so it's easily accessible. So you can go ahead and perform this test as well. And you can perform this test, just look up the new Logic Pro benchmark online and you guys can post your results if you want to and the kind of the specs of your machine what machine you're running it on if you want to throw in some more data for future comparison so that's about it in the next video i plan on going over some of the more quality of life kind of experience of using logic on this new system versus on my old macbook pro so make sure you subscribe if you want to check that out if you liked this video go ahead and give it a like and please let me know in the comments below any tests you'd like me to run or any things you'd like me to check for compatibility on the new M1 Max. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.